Hello, lovelies. It is G here from Cosmic Thread Tarot. How are you doing today? Hello, Cancer. Thank you, lovelies, for being here. Okay, we're going to get your uh, timeless reading right now. Just a message for you. This is not going to be a, for a specific time or a specific week. I did that last week, but Spirit was like, eh. They're kind of just feeling doing timeless messages for you guys, whatever needs to come out. Okay, so this is a general read. It doesn't have to apply to every cancer. If it doesn't resonate for you, leave it for somebody else. Okay, um, you are more than welcome. Please do go check out your moon, Venus, and rising signs as well. Okay. Message for cancer. What's cancer needs to know? Okay. There's something you're not being honest with yourself about, cancer. I'm really getting this is you. You know, it could be something small or it could be something big. I don't know. Ooh. Okay, hold up. Seven of Pentacles. You don't... You're, you don't want to wait anymore, but I feel like that's a lie. I feel like you do. I feel like you kind of want to give this a chance. I feel like you actually do kind of want to give something a chance. Empress in reverse, though. It is something that has made you feel like... Oh, wow. Yeah, in the past, it's made you feel trapped. You, you really have felt like this is not really built on a very sturdy foundation, okay? You feel like there's been too much uh, kind of defeat here. It's like, I, you know, I haven't been able to win here in the past or I haven't been able to do this. I feel like stuck in a loop with this. Um, you wait, but it's like I'm kind of tired of waiting. I'm trying to patiently wait for something, but I'm kind of tired of it. I don't feel anything growing here. I don't see the potential here in this. Yeah, I just feel really... Somebody's saying here that they, they feel like they've been honest about how they feel. At least energetically. They feel like energetically they have been standing in their truth. Energetically standing in their truth, okay? Huh? That, I mean, there there is a, a, a solid offer coming in here. But it's been slow to come. I feel like that's why you're like kind of, you know, like I said, you, you're like really like very last minute. I'm going to leave. I'm out of here. Like I'm kind of done with it. I'm over it. This is not how how much more energy am I going to give to this? It's really not giving anything back. I'm planting seeds. But where, you know, where is where is this elusive offer, you know, coming in here? I feel tired. I feel like the end of my ropes, you know. Uh, you know, I keep waiting for a Ten of Pentacles, like something solid to come in, but, and I've been waiting for a really long time. For some of you, like 10 years, 10 weeks, you know, 10 months. You're like, what? <laughs> yeah. You do feel like whatever this is would be your wish fulfillment, but there is like this, like, oh, but I've been waiting so long. Excuse me. I feel like you feel like you like woke up and you feel like there's been really strong third like outside interference here that's just really been holding things up and slowing things down. So you so maybe you even think like you know like you know rejection is protection. Maybe if this person is not coming forward that you know that's a sign, right? So you're kind of getting to the on the point here where you're like, look, it's a sign that I keep that this person keeps leaving me out, or it's a sign that this is not working. You know, I, I need to listen. Spirit is always telling me, you know, if it's not working, don't you know, don't give to it, don't keep giving to it. Like move on. Uh, let some other energy come in from elsewhere. Get your nourishment. You know, if you're not getting the nourishment or the the care that you need in this situation, go elsewhere. Stop giving it energy. And it's like now that you're that you're like okay, like you're really seriously contemplating moving on from this but you're having you're ha I don't, I don't want to say you're having trouble it's, it's like it's 
you're just not fighting for it. You're, you're like, look, I'm not going to fight for this anymore. Like, if, if you want to put in some effort, I'll, you know, I'll consider it. But, like, I'm not going to be the one chasing after this anymore. I'm not sitting here constantly with my hand out waiting for you to give me something. Like, I'm just going to move on. Because something's going on here, right? Something's going on here. There's some reason, whether or not it's a, you know, it's a person, it's a family, it's divine time, it's the divine trying to tell you this person's not for you, insecurities, fears, whatever it is that's holding this up, you know, like, okay, well, I guess that's how it's meant to be, you know, like, I guess I'll just carry on with my business because I'm not fighting for this anymore, you know, I'm not waiting for this anymore, I'm putting up boundaries, you know, like, <laughs> there's rules in this that protect my side as well, protect my interests as well, so... I'm going to just have to seriously think about cutting my losses and move on. But the, this is the decision. You're you're indecisive about 100% about it, right? Because you have invest, you have invested so much into it. You feel energetically like there could be some abundance here. But you also feel like uh, there could be something toxic. Like you feel like there could be something toxic about this person. Or toxic about the cycle with this person because it was here with the devil card and the, something about this is like ugh, it just gives you that I'm not sure it's right like you're just like mm. yeah you could really think there's someone else like or you could know there's someone else or maybe it's the whole I I you know you, some of you could identify with being, you know, some of the people in the collective that were like, look, I'm tired of this, or like, I'm tired of this journey. I'm going to go about my business. You know what? My twin flame doesn't want to act right. Um, I'm just, you know, I'm going to go be with a soulmate or I'm going to go open myself up to other options. Like it doesn't just have to be just you, right? Especially if you're tripping or you're doing, you're doing whatever, or if it's just, if it's not coming around, it's just not divine time, but I'm ready for something else. Right? Like, so it's kind of that energy. Yeah, like you're trying to be patient, but like thing, things are coming out, things are becoming clear, the illusions, you know, it's kind of like, yeah, I need to kind of pull back this energy, I need to, you know, kind of separate myself from this energy, like that, you know, that's just what I need to do, it's just what I gotta do, I feel it, you know, so you're, you are, like, you feel this energy, but at the same time, you're like, uh, it's like you're kind of looking back over your shoulder towards something, oh, but I feel like you're impatient. Like you're you're just like the more you wait, the more you're just like I don't feel like this this goes together. I don't feel like this is me. I don't feel like this job, this place, this thing, this per this person, this relationship, this house, this whatever it is. I don't think it's for me. I don't you know. I don't think. Yeah, exactly. Your your intuition is telling you like mm. if there's this doubt, like why, like why keep up with the doubts, like why, you know. Because it's like spirit key will, will tell you repeatedly, right? If it's not for you, right? So it's like all this, like all these burdens, all these unexpected burdens that they're really, are, all the weight of this being all on you is really, you know, it's really weighing on you, right? The weight of all, you know, it's really weighing on you. It's really, you know, you're like, yo, like I can't carry all these burdens by myself in this. And maybe even for some of you, like if it is like some kind of like a uh, contract with a company or something, you're just like, oh, like there's all these things coming to light that it's like how it really doesn't, it really doesn't serve me. This relationship doesn't serve me or, you know, the person that you want to, that you want to be or the, or the, the type of company this company wants to be, or, you know, this thought process is really not serving me. It's really, it's really weighing me down more than it's helping me ascend and, you know, that's coming to light to you. You're seeing this. You're getting the enlightenment. You're like, I get it. Like, if it's not coming around, like, I really should, you know, exactly. Let it go. I really should let it go. Knight of Swords. <sighs> Somebody here could be rushing in to try to make a decision, but I don't like how this knight is running in with a sword here and that, you know, with the two swords you already have, that's creating like a three of swords energy here. I don't like that, but that's what it's reminding me of. But here it, it is giving me like this person is running in, um, 
here because you're in decision like oh wait 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 like is it still you know can I still make my presentation can I still do this as you're like oh well you know you're like weighing the option like well this person they never showed up or this thing is really not working out so let me let me look at this other sword and this person's like no no wait 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 I want to show up right now at the last second <laughs> oh wow that definitely felt like something <laughs> oh I thought that was a cat on my leg Now I'm hearing a cat purring. Okay. Page of Swords. It's still a very kind of immature offer, but it is like a tower moment here where it's going to be like, oh, like a sudden realization. Like, whoa. Like out of nowhere, in comes this person. Yeah, and I feel, you know, as you're in comes this person out of nowhere and you're kind of like, hmm, I don't know about it. You know, like. Yeah. It kind of could stroke your ego a little bit because you're like, I knew it. Like, finally, you know, this person could come in and make some confessions or finally, you know, tell you how they really feel about you. As you're walking away, they want to oh, catch the door right as it's closing as you're going out. Like, wait, were you here? Were you waiting for me this whole time? Like, yeah. King of Pentacles. Wait. I think I might want a, this... I think I might want this. Yeah. There is some five, five of cups energy here. That's why this person is coming in erratically with this knight of wands. They could be coming in erratically or you, you know, the, the energy can always be shifted. Like cancer, this could be you too. Just like coming in really quickly, uh, because they're they're they don't want to miss out. They don't want to miss out. They don't want to. They're just like wait 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 wait. Wait wait wait. Before you make your decision, let me make my presentation. Let me let me make my pitch. It's like okay. Well, I guess we'll we'll go on to the next presenter. I guess they just never showed. And this person's like wait 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 wait. <laughs> guess they never showed. Wait. I just want to show up as the King of Pentacles, like right here. this person dealing with a lot of tension a lot of anxiety because my back feels like energetically it feels like stiff yeah also there's something here too about this person is afraid of judgment they're like if i mess this up like it's gonna be bad so there there is also that coming in as well and also this person this person's a little bit in pride which is why they're a little bit they want to save face or they want to make it look right okay they want to make it look right nine of wands so they're coming in really rapidly out of nowhere like really quickly recklessly without thinking about it like this is like somebody you haven't even talked to coming in and being like let's get married and you're like what like what do you mean what do you mean let's get like we haven't talked in like years like what do you mean let's get married like i'm in love with you let's get married like what or i don't know in some kind of way they're showing up here as like like to you and your eyes like immaturely here maybe they're showing up and they're just kind of like oh hey how are you kind of energy maybe they still got some attachments with an ex maybe they're still working stuff out maybe whatever it is like the offer just doesn't seem like it's really like you're really buying it or like you're really biting like mm, maybe let me see how you act let me see how you act in public let me see how you carry yourself for a little bit okay final wrapping up for cancer here is there anything else that Cancer needs to know about? Yeah, like I said, there's that Three of Swords. 
Somebody could be coming in here because they want some kind of healing. This could be a father figure or this could be a, a person that is a father. Could be the father of your children. Could be your father, like I said. Could be uh, somebody that's just here in this emperor energy where it's like... Um... But this eight... It's just like something that's, that's not working or just somebody that wasn't putting in work before. It just... It keeps coming up here to me as like this page of swords energy where it's like... Like, it's just like... how It's like knowing exactly what kind of way because this person they might be really about it but the way they're presenting is like it's just not up to your like cut it's like it's not up to snuff or something for you you're just like the way see like maybe maybe okay maybe the offer is legit you know maybe you are really qualified for this job uh but you handed me your resume written in crayon like you don't really don't really seem like you're really taking this seriously. So maybe you are a very qualified candidate, but what's going on here? <laughs> it seems rushed. It seems rushed. And I feel like the timing of it too is giving you like vibes like, oh, I'm starting to stay to the people, people and you finally want to show up like, oh, okay. Mm, that kind of energy but I don't know I feel like it's a safe thing to be like I don't know for now I'll watch what you move like I, but I feel like that's how you feel like I'll, I'll watch how you move I'll watch how you move I'll watch how you know any kind of what, what the progression of this is for some of you I feel like it's all out I'm good like but yeah. it's good to have discernment Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, you're just focused. Yeah, you're just focused on your independence. You're focused on your bag. You're focused on you. You're focused on your happiness and what makes you happy, right? And I definitely feel like there definitely was some seven of swords, sneaky behavior, lies, cheating, something like that that happened that really caused you to be this nine of wands here, right? And I feel like an I feel like here, I feel like the universe or you feel like this person owes you an apology, okay? So there is some kind of justice trying to come out here with the truth coming out here with the illusions being broken about the illusions, delusions being broken about this person or about this thing that, you know, it was supposed to come out. You know, you needed to know the truth about what was really going on here. Right. You needed to see what it would really be like. OK, well, that's what I have for you, you know. Like I said, this is a general reading. It's one way or the other. I definitely feel like this person definitely doesn't want to let go of you. You know? They definitely feel the call to come towards you, but they know you're defensive. They're kind of defensive. And it's kind of this energy here of like... Uh, yeah, but this person does definitely does. They have... They, they're coming here with some kind of obsessive emotion here. Okay? They're really not in control of their emotions, which is why they're coming in kind of kind of erratically now how erratic that depends on your person right you know your person you know most likely you know who this person is right cancer or a cross watcher or whoever you are all right wherever you have cancer <sighs> yeah yeah it is. I really feel like that's it's the timing of it. It's making you give that squinted eye like, mm, mm, mm. I don't know. I sounded a lot well, like to me, like when I just said that, mm, mm, I sounded a lot like the, like the vibrate notification. So you might have your phone on vibrate and it might like, you know, you might get a notification of a message or something and you let it sit there for a while or maybe you don't see it. Maybe you're falling asleep. Maybe, yeah, maybe this person can't like, you know, this person legitimately wants to talk to you, but they hit you with it like you up or can I talk to you or something like that, like two or three o'clock in the morning. And you're like, what do you think this is? Like what? Kind of, like you don't seem like your energy has changed that much or you don't seem like you're taking this seriously. Like, like I said before, it's like maybe you do qualify for the position or maybe you've changed your mind, but it still kind of seems like you're coming a little bit on your old stuff. So what's up with that? You know? 
Yeah. <laughs> I feel like a lot of you are like, this gives me red flags. Like, I think I'm just going to walk away. Like, that kind of energy. Like, some of you might even not even answer the text. You just kind of look at it. Yeah. Like, that's, you just look. They're sitting there looking at it like, this person really messaged me? And, like, they really messaged me like that? Like, that's what they're on? Like, yeah. <laughs> what they come to you on might kind of rip, might, might kind of wake you up or make you realize, like, oh, like, okay. Excuse me. Some of you are going to have some realizations. So, so for some of you, it's going to be this a realization this person actually doesn't want to be in a relationship with you. You're going to be like, what? And they're like, yeah, it's going to cause you this kind of like, wait, what? <laughs> you do? Um, okay. Kind of energy. But there, is, there is, you know, there's walking away energy. Now, whether or not it's like you were walking away and this person comes and like tries to stop you, whether, wherever you, whatever decision you make from there, I don't know. Right. But ask for this person's intentions yeah it's pretty straight up like their intentions are to come in and have a brand new beginning with you really quickly they want to come rushing in really quickly and be like yeah what what scene is that i'm seeing somebody here where it's like somebody like walks up to them and they and they say hi and the person goes i love you and i'm like what i have no idea what it's from i'm sure it's been in multiple things but they're showing me that scene but yeah <laughs> and you're like oh okay that's really sudden and really fast it's a lot really sudden really fast i feel like it triggers you you're like oh i'm not sure <laughs> i'm not sure what to make of this yeah yeah the devil and the empress in reverse like there's something here about this that feels karmic it's giving you karmic vibes and you're like mm -hmm. maybe you like have identified this person as a karmic and you're like look i'm straight this person could this person could be a, um well i was trying to say earth sign but fire sign almost came out but like this person could be a fire sign or an earth sign as i say that there's that fire sign energy because it's a karmic energy here. A karmic earth sign, I feel like, for some of you. So, Capricorn Virgo. I almost wanted to say Sagittarius. I keep wanting to say certain fire signs. So, this person could have fire and earth prominently in their chart. Taurus. I don't think, I'm not getting a lot of heavy Taurus energy off of this. Although, the higher font did a, a come up several times, but I, don't, I wasn't reading Taurus off that. But I'm getting it, Virgo and Capricorn really heavy on this. But they, I'm just, you know, with the Empress in reverse and the Devil and the King of Wands in reverse, this is giving me big. Uh, or maybe this is just how you feel about this person, like I said. It is giving me big karmic energy here, though. They definitely wanted to present themselves with a lot of, like, doesn't mean that they don't have passion for you. They could be presenting as a third party or they could, be careful, some of these people can want to make you a third party. I feel like you should just be truthful with how you really feel, with what's really going on, and um, keep your next moves to yourself. Just be, you know, be truthful with this person. Um, be honest with this person. You know, if you're like, I really don't trust you. Just be honest. Be like, I really don't trust you. Um, but, you know, it kind of is what it is. I feel, I feel like this is going to leave you with a choice, right? A choice that you haven't, I don't know, that eight of cups just keeps popping up. That's your that's that's your cards right here for this whole spread. It's eight of cups, six of swords, eight of cups, and it's like, what should I do? But it's like both of your choices are like a six of swords or eight of cups. It's like, should I walk away or should I get the fuck out of here? <laughs> should I walk away or should I run the fuck away? Like, <laughs> and there you are, Cancer, at the very end of your reading.
Oh. <laughs> What's making all that rocking? Okay, odd. Okay. Yeah. I also feel like there's something here with the house. Somebody here, either this person feels like they are sharing a house with, with somebody that they feel like is holding them back, they feel like it's a burden, or uh, you, Cancer, could be dealing with some kind of, this could be an issue with your with housing, or, you know, you could be dealing with a um, a person here that's like your boss, or like, uh, uh, like your landlord, or something like that. You could also be dealing with an issue like that, where your landlord is giving you a lot of issues here as well. Um, you could be trying to split a lease or this person could be, or like break an early, like break some kind of contract early here, a lease agreement early. <sighs> okay, so you could have somebody coming towards you asking for like, what, what should I do? Like. It's giving me kind of like this energy of this person's like, what should I do? Like, I have feelings for this person, but I also have feelings for you. Like, what should I do? Like, what do you mean? Like, maybe that's why you're like, what? Like, ooh. nah. Um, I don't know. I just keep getting this. There's somebody else energy or there's something else going on here energy. Something like... I'm legally still married or like the justice system or something going on here. Or this person is, yeah. Like I'm saying, there is something here going on with with, with some of y'all breaking like a marriage agreement or a contract with a past person. It's not giving me spiritual. It's giving me like 3D based like contract here. So, you know, trying to end a, a contract to work for a company early or something like that. You could be doing a battle here or somebody here could be involved in like some kind of divorce procedure or lawsuit or something like that. Also, energy that's here too. Mm. Also, be careful here because somebody could be coming towards you. A masculine could be coming towards you because their feminine or like their person is got really good like legal. They could be looking for a place to live or house, a place to stay, or they could be like, they're leaving. It's not like they're leaving this person. They're, this person is leaving them. This person is leaving them. And so for some of them, they could be looking for a place to stay or, you know, there is this karmic energy here that's still where they're still involved. They're still in some kind of issue here. And they are unable with this Empress card in reverse. They are unable to invest in this right now because of something they're going through. It's like this person, it's like this person wants to rush in and wants to say something, even though they know they're still going through a karmic contract. They know that they're still in a in a karmic cycle. They know this, but yet they are still coming towards you. But they're being really reckless and like diving in. It's like, oh, it's now or never. But it's like, but you're not ready. But like, it's like, it's like this person's like, oh, so what? So what? I'm not ready. I just, it's now or never. It's now or never. It's now or never. And I feel that's why your intuition, Cancer, is being like, hmm. I don't know if I should, right? It's, there's a reason that it's not just like, yes, this feels so good. There is like this issue here. So either you know that this is going on or you have the inclination or maybe like you've been watching other tarot readings and other tarot readers have told you, I don't know, this person's going through some shit, you know, like, so. If you know, you know, you know, there's something going on here. So you got to make your own decisions for yourself, Cancer, but that's what I have for you. Okay, for this, for this, uh, not really for this week, but just this is the message that you need to hear for right now. Cancer, thank you so much for being here. Like I said, if this didn't resonate for you, I'm so sorry. Check out your uh, other signs, okay? Your other major placements. Or, or, you know, just wait. Maybe check out last week's reading because, or maybe check out next week's reading. However, this ends up working out for you, Cancer, okay? Thank you so much for being here with me today. Uh, check out the links in the description box down below. If you are not subscribed, think about subscribing to the channel. Down below, you will also have to see the links to my, my first channel, okay, where I do my pick of cards and my... Uh, 
channel messages i channel from the twin flame journey and stuff like that too and soulmate journey as well as like past life stuff on that channel the link for that will be in the description box down below if you're from that channel hello lovely thank you for being here as well okay um down below you will also find the links to my online shop where you can purchase my oracle cards that i have up for sale there as well as my contact information if you want to reach out to me and get a personal reading thank you guys so very much for being here with me today okay and i will see you in the next time cancer good luck with this okay Bye.